We all know what a rabbit is. These perky-eared fluff balls are one of the most popular pets in the world. But what's a pika, you might ask? Well, aside from their ears, they pretty much look and behave like a rabbit, and both animals famously belong to the taxonomic order Lagomorpha. Some would even argue, if you put rabbit ears on a pika, they wouldn't look so different after all. Pikas are also stinking cute and often lumped together in the same sentence as bunnies. But why? In this video, we will be discussing the main differences between the rabbit and their distant cousin, the pika. Please subscribe, smash the like button, and hit that little bell for unlimited bunny content. Let's begin with the physical differences. A pika is much smaller, rounder, and more compacted than a rabbit. Most pikas are between 5 to 9 inches long and 4 to 12 ounces in weight. They have stubbier legs and shorter torsos. But most obviously, a pika's ears are short, more circular, and a bit more spaced out, resembling the ears of a mouse. And while pikas do have tails, they aren't really visible. A rabbit's anatomy is a bit of a combination of the pika and the hare. The wild rabbit is more slender, they have long hind legs that allow for jumping high distances, Overall, rabbits are much larger than pikas and are known for their fluffy, invisible tails. And of course, they have much longer and perkier ears. Moreover, when you throw domestic rabbits into the mix, some of those ears will be floppy. Dialects One of the biggest differences between a pika and a rabbit is that pikas are vocal and rabbits are not. Pikas have distinct calls, which vary in duration. The call can be short and quick, a little longer or more drawn out, etc. The short calls are an example of geographic variation. The pikas determine the appropriate time to make a short call by listening for cues. The calls are used for individual recognition, predator warning signals, territory defense, or as a way to attract the opposite sex. There are also variations of calls depending on the season. For example, in the spring, songs become more frequent during the breeding season. Rabbits, in contrast, are fairly silent animals. In fact, you might never get a peep out of your pet rabbit for the duration of their existence. There are rare exceptions in which a rabbit would be vocal at all consisting of extreme pain or fear. And if you're wondering what that would sound like, there aren't very many recordings because it is so rare, but typically it'll be a very high-pitched scream or a squeak. These are sounds that, as a bunny owner, you hope to never have to hear. Now for their habitats. Rabbits usually live in the lowlands, especially where there are wide stretches of grass on which they feed. While cottontails do not burrow, European rabbits use the lowlands especially as an opportunity to burrow underground where they can cool down and stay safe from predators. Meanwhile, pikas live in the highlands. Pikas prefer rocky slopes and are native to colder climates. One species lives in the Rocky Mountains of North America, and the others live in the mountains of Asia. Recently, changing temperatures have forced some pika populations to restrict their ranges to even higher elevations. Next, their social structures. Pikas have several types of social structures. Those that live in the rocky areas of North America are antisocial, with males and females having separate territories and rarely interacting except to mate. Pikas in rocky areas of Asia live in pairs within a communal territory. Burrowing pikas, in contrast, are pretty social, with families of up to 30 individuals living in a burrow and about 10 family groups within a territory. There is a lot of interaction between family members, including grooming, playing, and sleeping together. Most rabbit species are social, like the European rabbit. 
and live in a hierarchical group setting. They'll live in warrens or colonies of up to 6 to 12 rabbits controlled by a dominant male. The warren consists of a maze of burrows and chambers. In contrast, the American cottontails are pretty solitary, like the hare, although they will often graze together and are not territorial. Next, we have breeding. Pikas breed in the spring, with peak breeding occurring in May and early June. Female pikas reach sexual maturity at about one year of age. American pikas breed twice yearly during the same breeding season. Rabbits, on the other hand, don't have a breeding season and basically will breed whenever they want, however many times they want, as long as there is a female available to carry the babies. Rabbits also become sexually mature much earlier at around four months for the males and five months for the females. This is why the expression breed like rabbits exists because rabbits are known for reproducing in large quantities very frequently. So can pikas and rabbits be friends? I mean, maybe, but the truth is that because they live in such different habitats, it is unlikely that the rabbit and the pika would even meet. And if they did, they probably would just ignore each other. You might also wonder, can pikas be pets? The answer is no. Pikas are not an animal that should be kept as a pet. They need to live in certain conditions that cannot be provided by living in a home with people. They also have not been domesticated. Remember, they are a wild animal, so the likelihood of them having affection for a human would be extremely low. A better choice in pets would be the domesticated rabbit. Domesticated rabbits can build very strong bonds with their human counterparts and live up to 14 years of age if properly taken care of. They are so smart that they can learn tricks and even use a litter box. And while pikas are smart in their own way, these are just advanced skills that they haven't developed. So there you have it everyone, the differences between the pika and the rabbit. You guys seemed to really enjoy the rabbit versus hares video. So if you like more of these kinds of videos, please comment below which one we should make next. And our question of the day is, who do you think is cuter, the rabbit or the pika? Comment below. Talk to you soon.